this is the 5,000 mile update on the 28 in Nissan Leaf uh, regarding the negatives of this vehicle. Um, there's no ability to actually turn the lights off. So if you're in a garage or you're having some uh, tires done or something, I know you can turn the vehicle off, but um, you can't actually physically turn the lights off, which I think is a major oversight on any vehicle. Um, as for the auto headlamp function, which uh, you have to enable by when you've got the uh, auto one and it's dark, you press this lever forward. Um, the trouble is, I mean, I've got quite long hands, but it's very uncomfortable to have, I'm having to reach to actually um, get access to the stalk. And if you've got smaller fingers, then you're, you're gonna have to physically take your hand off the wheel to indicate, which again is a major safety issue. I don't understand why they didn't either have the auto functionality um, as a button here and leave this all alone, or what they could have also done is actually when you um, old some other vehicles, you used to uh, click the um, main beam on and then it would click on and then click it off again what they could have done is actually have that as the main beam um, on and then like i say you could have actually had this uh, set up a click on for the auto click off for it something like that i don't know the next negative uh, criticism is regarding the headlamps now whilst i've actually replaced the bulbs on the 28 in this sand leaf um the spread pattern, although is a lot better than the standard bulbs that come with it, there's still a um, drop off, literally off the front of the uh, vehicle. In other words, the near side ed leading edge to here in the UK uh, on the uh, right hand drive markets, that side is absolutely perfectly eliminated. When you're going down, say, darkened roads uh, where there's um, a lot of street lights um, aren't on, um, obviously I start very early hours in the morning. Um, the right hand side of the road um, isn't eliminated and I'm finding I'm having to turn the fog lamps on just to eliminate that um, that leading edge. Um, I do want to try the uh, Techno bulbs at some point to actually see if the spread pattern's any better and if so in its reasonable cost I will be replacing the headlamp bulbs on this vehicle. So when you're listening to radio um, and you want to turn the stereo down you can obviously use the uh, volume dial or you can use the up and down um, controls on the steering wheel however where's the mute button you normally have a mute button especially on steering wheel mounted um, controls mute button needs to be added to this vehicle um, it's so handy um, you can have the music or your volume up on your radio a little bit someone wants to take a phone call mute hands on the wheel mute i haven't had this is the first vehicle i've had for nearly 15 years that's had the steering wheel controls that hasn't got a mute button really really uh, bad emission nissan that could be rectified very easily now on to the next point um the map on this unit it hasn't been updated probably since 2010 these graphics, um, and there's nothing wrong with the infotainment uh, centre screen, it's this actual uh, incorporated sat-nav that's on this. Renault, part of the Nissan Alliance, uses TomTom. -tom, right, so if you go, for example, I'll show you how different it can be. If we fire up my, um, my phone's uh, maps, wait for it to load a second, sorry guys. Um, there you go. Now look. All nice and modern, really smooth, and when you're actually going for directions, I, I appreciate this, um, the directions on here doesn't come up like it does on here for the main sat-nav unit, but it's so easy to actually just search the stuff in either the bar, like I said before, in the Android Auto um, um, video, and also you can search it with voice. Um, but as I say, the actual graphics when you're moving around is all bitty it's like really horrid hate it don't ever use it this could be updated surely with a software update um i can't believe that they can't actually um do this um or maybe even do it as an update at some point the rear wiper on the vehicle whilst very efficient 
is very very loose um, it feels like it would just break off not that I ever use a car wash um, but it's not that good um, again I don't know if it's meant to be like this but it just feels very very uh, wayward a little feature that I think could be done in a software update as well is regards to the seat belt warning um, for example um, and this will predominantly apply to um, us taxi drivers and private hire drivers um, for whatever reason whether we're running late there's traffic um, or the clients running late um, a lot of people say for for example um, I'd be dropping off in our, one of our two local stations and as I'm coming down into the part where we actually drop off um, people will actually take their seatbelt off early um, literally uh, hand you the fare very quickly and jump out of the vehicle the downside of that is that the seat belt warning um, icon and sand goes off for a whole minute or it feels like a whole minute after they've actually vacated the vehicle um, and it's annoying as hell because obviously you can't turn it off um, the driver's side ones or and the front passenger if you um, unplug it and then get out of the vehicle for some reason it seems to um, go off relatively quickly um, or if you plug it back in again it goes off but I say when people are in the back and um, the other thing of course is that say for instance they push a hand down on the back seat to actually move the like a uh, bum across um, that will then trigger as if someone's actually sitting there but no one's actually plugging in and again the cycle will repeat again so you've got another whole minute of this bleep 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 and I say that could probably be fixed uh, with this uh, a software or a firmware upgrade the seats as you know about the seating issue um, they're way too low and they're more like a bucket design seat maybe they could raise this on future uh, vehicles and make them more uh, flat uh, so then you sit on them rather than in the seats um, great for cornering um, but anyone that's like I say is over I'd say a 38 inch waist or dress size 12 need look elsewhere um, maybe for one of the other uh, trim levels uh, this section here can actually catch um, uh, drying towels and also like uh, mops um, it's quite strong and sturdy but just watch your fingers when you're cleaning it what I tend to do is actually put the cloth under to get the last little bit of uh, water out under there depending on if you get a variant that actually has the uh, heated rear bench um, the placement of that switch isn't particularly ideal because it's on the passenger side with like it was on the previous uh, generation um, and I just think that maybe they could have actually have had um, when they designed the um, old rocker switches uh, and they've transferred them over they look identical to the uh, previous shape on the new shape um, they actually could have had the third maybe made those a bit uh, more slimline and incorporated the rear uh, heated uh, switch in between those two um, just as a convenience um, kind of functionality that would be something I'd actually like to see um, change that's maybe on the next model in the boot area where we've got the um, two charging leads you've got the standard uh, uh, type 2 and you've got the um, uh, free pin plug if you're looking at this here in the UK um, on the continent in America you've got the uh, twin pin pronged um, type um, I actually think that in years to come and this doesn't just apply to uh, the 2018 Nissan Leaf or the 2019 uh, maybe they can incorporate something for the 2019 if it's not too late I think they need to make a deadlocking system um, on the um, back lock and all or actually going one step further because I'm thinking like the rear partial shelf with the glasses there maybe they could actually have a way of actually um, having like a metal um, mesh rather than a nylon netting that holds those leads where you can actually physically lock them in place um, I don't know if that's uh, a way of actually doing it there's got to be a way um, to actually secure that boot area a bit more now the reason I'm saying this guys is that in years to come um, those cables are worth a lot of money and it's going to I think they're going to be very very hot property for people just literally to um, break the window and steal them um, I know the alarm would go off, but you know what about if you're 
leaving you're leaving it in a multi-story car park um obviously in maybe eight to ten years down the line when the densities of these batteries and the capacities go through the roof we won't need leads anymore um you might even be able to just go and borrow one um, everyone will have them effectively like um garages and stuff and you can just use their one um i think maybe that's going to be the way forward but i think for the foreseeable future um these leads actually could be targeted by thieves because like i say they're they're not cheap uh door bins are pretty much uh useless um apart from a bottle um compartment on the edge of that you can't really get anything usable in there um two cup holders uh, are fine but maybe they could have had uh, something that actually could have um, held them better like uh, some cars actually have like rubber um inserts so when you push it in it can't move um and as i've said before at the launch event the uh if you want to call it a center console compartment is so tiny i mean i've got my phone in there as you can see um you can't even get a full size uh, coke can there because it uh, bevels down um so that's another little negative um and moving on this is the biggest gripe of this vehicle um apart from the seats which i won't mention about because you've already seen that in my previous videos um, these buttresses, um, first of all, the plastic quality is nasty. Um, all the other quality plastics, um, although they're hard, they're nice and they're nice coloured. These are reminiscent of my, oh God, three decade old um, Nissan Bluebird and early Nissan Micros. And I'm going back into the, um, oh God. Uh, mid to late 80s um, just after I learnt to drive um, and whoever signed these off in my opinion um, he must be a, a fan of um, rear wheel drive um, because it's as if you've got a transmission tunnel um, we've done away with transmission tunnels when we went from rear wheel driving to front wheel driving, well, about 10 years, 15 years after I was born. Um, they're ugly, they serve no purpose, they make the interior hugely cramped. I mean, my leg, I mean, I've actually got quite skinny legs. Um, I've got about, I can get my fingers between, from my normal, maybe, uh, there you go, I can get my thumb from a dead straight position, being honest, I can get maybe two, hands between that and that maybe three you could probably get three hands in there um, but it tapers back to here um if nissan ever replaced these um and they re um, replace this section and, and it can be retrofitted i don't care what the cost these are going they are god awful and they are by far my biggest complaint in the negatives um, of the vehicle so to as an end to the uh, negatives of the 2018 Nissan Leaf after my 5,000 miles, um, there wasn't nothing too major negative about the vehicle. A lot of it was just improvements I actually think could actually be made to the vehicle. Um, and things that I think, like I've actually said, I think Nissan probably might have actually thought about um, some of these um, items that were omitted off this vehicle um there's some things maybe they just couldn't do it because of limitations um in their budget um just don't know um anyway guys i hope you find it uh, quite informative and i will speak to you guys next bye